so we're in a wee bit of a, a different season than normal. Usually the club season's packed to the, packed to the throat with, with things, but all very different. How are you seeing it? Aye. Aye, it's been it's been short and sweet, well, so it has, you know, a uh, very, very short season, uh, three group games and then into your knockout, so uh, teams didn't get a lot of preparation done, you know, there's no, uh, no such thing as, uh, as giving the boys a run out in the league and the county's training and getting their county players back this year that basically a full deck to, to play with, so in some ways that was refreshing, you know, um, having, the, having the full deck right from the, from the group games, but um, no, it's, it's been different then, the crowds have been limited and Buying tickets online and stuff they got there has been it's been very very different you know no one big for a lot of the big championships games we must must own big now to be honest as well and uh, no it's it's been different but hey we'll we'll be we'll be happy if we get the championship finished because uh, the way things are going at the minute there's no guarantees but uh, obviously some of the other counties and and, and down and thrown that there are finished already so hopefully we'll get the uh, semi finals over and get a get a clear winner next weekend you know so. It's very weird. Um, I saw a few tweets last week uh, at the hurling final. People saying, "Is anybody got a ticket?" You know, it's like all Ireland Day. You know, is anybody got a spare ticket? <laughs> oh, well, this is it. Everybody, everybody, everybody's wanting to get to the big games. You know, the Slanial uh, Glen game was obviously um, a massive uh, draw last weekend, so everybody was keen to get the tickets for that there. So, aye, who knows? You know, there'll be no uh, all Irelands this year <laughs> if you don't think. All earn tickets for difficult any other year. Uh, God knows if there'll even be any tickets this year. So uh, we'll see what happens there. But no, it's been it's been difficult. So I suppose a lot of us have been tuning into the, the online We Are Dairy to, to pick up a lot of these games, and that's been a, I suppose that's been a good uh, a, a good thing to start. And hopefully that that'll continue for, for the next few years. It's, it's good also to be able to pick up the you know the highlights during the week and look back in these games as well. You know, and I'm sure all the coaches and managers it's a good tool for them to, to analyze all their opponents. Uh, it's been it has to be, it has been great to be fair. Uh, even talking to Kieran McKeon earlier today, he was saying, you know, even older members of the community that can't get the games, you know, they're able just to tune in and watch it. So things are definitely changing. No, that's it. I things things change. You know, obviously that with, with with the lockdown earlier in the year, the the team's training programs not there. They were sending them. They were doing sim calls online, and and, and the, the trainers were basically. Uh, directing things from uh, the players are watching the screen, even even in this house here. You know, my my, my son and daughter were doing the training here, watching watching it through Zoom. And uh, um, as you say, the the older generation at that time, with the, with the lockdown that they weren't able to to, to risk going to these matches. So um, the we are day thing was good for you know my father was watching it there. He's been watching all the matches, so it's been good for him, and he's been enjoying that there, watching it on the computer screen. So these are things that never happened before, but I'm sure they'll they'll be there for the future now. You know. And then this weekend we're in the semi-finals. Um, Stan Hill going into it on on the back of a of a great one over Glen and Ballandary obviously getting past your own club screen. Um, how have you saw the two teams so far? Um, what's your thoughts on on how it may go? Aye, well, uh, you know, if I start with Ballandary on screen, uh, that game could have went either way, really, uh, up at Sally Park and on Saturday evening. Uh, it was very much in the balance to maybe the last uh, last ten minutes. Uh, I suppose uh, Ballon Day started to utilise their, their their pace better up front in the last uh, quarter. Um, you know, young young Sean Graham and and, and young uh, when they look up there were 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 causing were causing uh, bother for for screen and uh, you know the, the usual suspects were were playing playing well. Connor Nevin and, and Kinless there, and uh, you know like likes are. Kevin Guckin toiling away at 40 years of age, still putting in a shift. Um, so, uh, you know, it was a great one for Ballon Day, uh, but everybody's been thinking that Sonny Hill's the, the team to beat the last three years. They, they seem to really have um, got their act together this year. Uh, you know, uh, Paul Bradley and uh, his horse in there too, uh, organising things, I suppose, in terms of the training. And they've got, you know, Paul McNeil's back, Brent Rogers is back fully fit. Uh, Anton's back in goals, which is a big uh, asset for them, and and Patsy's back as well, really, because he's, I know he's thirty five, thirty six, but he's, he seems to be soldiering well, and not the big, uh, not the big influence that he that he was previously, but he seems to be he's certainly putting a shift there against uh, against the Warriors and and and, and, and Sunday even. So, um, no, I expect uh, I expect Stanley to be too strong. Well, you know, Donald Day just lost so many uh, top players in the last few years, Muldoon and. And Conal Gilligan, these guys. So 
Um, it's going to be a wee bit like a wee bit like balance screen as a transition there, and you know, I suppose the team that's uh, balance screen or or balance day both harboured hopes of, of winning that and avoiding Stanley in the semi final, you know, um, and as I say, balance day uh, you know deserved a victory, but uh, I can't see them uh, getting over Stanley. I really think it's Stanley the team to beat now to stage the championship with. with I was very impressed with them, um, you know, um, their, their, their overall play, their general play, the, the forward play, Sammy Bradley, uh, you know, young Casty, uh, obviously Shane McGuigan was phenomenal, you know, they seemed to, they seemed to basically, uh, you know, feed the ball up to, 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 to one of the full forwards in the channel and they wait to Shane comes around the loop and, and, and gets in position and, you know, he scored maybe six or seven from playing nine points, I think he scored, um, so he's, he's the top man and I just, out of Ballon Day of the, the man markers to deal with, uh, with, with, with Shane and with, with um, Sammy and with uh, Brian Casty, you know, to be honest. But um, we'll give it their all. And uh, Niall's a very should be man and he'll have it well worked out. And with James alongside him on the sailing, um, I certainly will give it their all. But I, I expect uh, Sammy will be too strong. Well. You know, and, and Conor Carroll sort of dropped off Cormac O'Doherty, but wasn't able to sit back in front of Shane. And, Sort of story for me was even Slaniel's movement left it very difficult to play a sweeper against. I don't know if that's how you saw it. I well, I was watching the match in the, in the, on the box really, so you don't get a different, you don't get the full, I suppose, the true picture when you're actually at the match. I was watching mm. it and, and we are there, so um, no, I felt that uh, some of the, some of the balls that they, they were they were putting in was really uh, should ball into the channel. That's very hard to mark, even with a with a sweeper dropping off. And it felt that uh, just seen a pattern where um, they actually held it up that we split second extra for Shane to come around to get into position to get onto his left peg and, 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 and get the shot in. So, um, but you see, Christopher Badley and, 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 and Kelsey in their own right uh, are, are great scorers as well. But it's, like, it's not all about the forwards, um, it's, it's the defence, the midfield, carrying the ball, you know. Uh, ben Rogers was back to SBS carrying a ball forward from, from full back and I'm sure well sort of Christopher McCaig and, and, and McCall seem to nullify. I'm sure Christopher McCaig will be um, involved in the game. Um, I know Potty Tad's been carrying a groin injury, I think so, but I'm sure um, you know he'll be uh, at his, at back to his best for, for the semi final. So those th- those three lads in particular are great ball carriers. Uh, never mind uh, their defensive qualities, you know, some of the boys that we've mentioned already, and me, Hall McGrath, and our good uh, uh, workhorse for Stan Neal puts in a, 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 a amount of, I don't know what his GPS data shows, but it's going to be a serious amount of uh, ground he covers. So, you know, um, quality all over the pitch, but I say, uh, not taking anything away from all day, the, 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 the team in transition have, have lost a lot of players over a few years. They seem to have uh, some good quality coming up there. Um, those young lads, the young lad Graham that came back from the soccer in England. I'm not sure what his long term plans are. So we've got players to, to work with, Mal. Uh, but I just think that uh, it's not the draw they wanted. They wanted to get either Looper or Marfell and give themselves a hot shot at the final. I think Stanley is going to be too strong for this one. And the, the other semi final, um, you mentioned it there, Eamon. Uh, both teams had. Both teams had a tough enough path, you know, to get there. Like, Coleraine were five points up and they were able to dig it into half time and, and turn it over. And Maher felt then on the other side of the coin nearly threw it away, but had to dig in against Swatra. Um, Aye, that much, that, that one's going to be a tighter one. Um, more difficult to predict, I would think. Uh, Listen, Mara Felt uh, came of age last year, uh, very deserving of winners. Um, I, at the start of this year, you know, of lockdown hadn't happened and nearly would have tipped them for the championship this, again, this year again. Uh, we got a few players back, you know, Ferris came back, uh, you know, Michael McAvoy came back from, from, from injury, uh, Peter Quinn came back from, from Dublin. So they have a strong squad, but you can only play 15. And I'm not sure that, uh, you know, I'm not sure that they're pushed on from last year yet. They've had a couple of uh, good victories, you know, uh, and the Lavi victory uh, was a good one for them, you know, but um, I'm just not sure if they've, uh, they've pushed on enough um, to win the county title this year. Um, Luton are going strong. Uh, Paddy and, and Kevin Brady have been going strong. Um, you know, they had a big one against uh, Dungiven, and they were slow to start against Coleraine, but uh, they came into it well in the second half. 
they're always there there but um, you know they're always there there but it's maybe it's maybe four years since the last county final um, but certainly if good players that I mean, they seem to score a lot of frees uh, considered a good few frees on Neil and Anthony Neil and uh, Keenan Devon scored a lot of a lot of frees um, you know Terence Brown is a good player for the midfield there's still more in him uh, Paddy, Mc, Paddy Coney great, great pace and he can, uh, you know, get the pace, get the, the the space at Celtic Park to get going right. He never really sort of found found the space uh, at Ballon Screen last weekend. Um, but you know that's going to be an intriguing match. Like uh, Adrian Cush, Cushy and, and, and QB and, and me Jimmy Slater have, have worked the thing out really well. And I felt and they come up on for a lot of a lot of criticism uh, two years ago, especially the, the, the infamous Slam Neil match. But um, that was all forgotten about uh, last year. You know, uh, very 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 shrewd boys. Um, you know, they, they like to control games. They keep it, yes, keep their bodies back. They, they throw the ball around. They suss the opposition out. And, you know, uh, they have got, you know, Emmett McGuckin, Jared Bonham's been great for them. Uh, you know, Shane Haver and Danny Haver, quality all over the pitch. Conor McCluskey's uh, a great player for them. So, Conor Cairns, uh, another sort of like a playmaker. So, a lot of quality there too, Mal. Um, difficult to predict that one. Um, Difficult to predict, you know. Uh, I was to push for one team at probably edge with Mara Felt, um, but you know, I don't ex- you know expect it to be very close that one. Loops uh, got, got a lot of assets there too, and, and Paddy, Paddy, Paddy Bradley obviously, and, and Kev Brady have, have uh, got things going well there too. So it's hard, hard to know, Mal. It's, a, it's going to be an intriguing one that one, you know. Is there a concern for Loop that um, three of their main players against him given? Thomas Mallon with his kickouts and uh, Paddy Coney's running ability and Kieran Devlin just winning a serious amount of ball at full forward. But Coleraine had sort of shut those three things off in the first half. Um, is there a worry for Luke that Maher felt might be able to do the same in the way that they play and they might have more legs to keep it going? Or, or I, is that the way you would see possibly, it? I, possibly, as I say, uh, Cushiel of it all. QB and then which all, all all those things well worked out, you know. And uh, uh, you know, one thing, uh, balance screen uh, and Celtic Park are similar dimensions. You know, they're not just as uh, just not just as broad as as, uh, as Owen Big would be, for example. You know, so it is harder for Posty to get us, uh, you know, get us longer kickouts using the width. You know, it's it sometimes it tends to, to pull over the line and you can be forced over the line. So, and you know, say for Owen Big, Paddy Coney, like always excels at Owen Big because the, it's so so uh, spacious. So that Celtic Park mightn't help as much there, you know. But um, no, listen, uh, Terence Bryan, uh, you know, there's more on him. Terence Bryan is a very talented player in my, in my eyes, so I uh, need to get him in the game. Paul McVeigh was playing well, the lips, so plenty, plenty of other boys to, to step up to the mark. Um, It'll be an interesting one, you know. It'll be, it'll be just patience. Uh, both teams will, will have to be patient to start off, start off. As I say, Mara felt tend to suss these teams out. And like, for example, the county final last year, like you remember the, the first five minutes of that match, it was just so slow and uh, keeping possession of the ball and, and looking at Mara and Glenn and seeing what way they were playing and what way they were setting up. And it could be something similar this weekend, you know. I would say uh, they'll be looking at each other's. Uh, not not willing to uh, give anything away at the start, not not going to concede anything early, and then uh, you know expect teams to come out and play you know after that first quarter and see then the game would really begin you know. And then moving on to the the intermediate just briefly, uh, Steelstown and uh, Fahamville both scored fairly heavily in their quarterfinals. Um, probably you know a lot of them as past pupils and and the like. What's the thoughts on that one, Eamon? I was up at the Steelstown match against them, Jordan, and you know expected to be closer. Um, Steelstown were very strong. Uh, you know Ben McCarran uh, is, is really in the top form, and you know um, chatting to some of the lads, the Steelstown lads, he, he maybe you know that's only really he's, he's come off uh, you know early maybe a month ago even he was maybe as good a form, but he certainly looked uh, uh, really really top form on, on, on Saturday evening there at, at, over at Banner. Uh, the weak Karen McMonagall beside him, who's a, a very talented forward as well. Um, Steelstown are, you know, a lot of good players. Mickey McKinney, uh, excellent player. They've even got Stephen Cleary sitting on the bench. Stephen's uh, been been in Europe maybe the best part of ten years, but carried Steelstown for a good few years before that. So he's an option from the bench, and he's 
Um, he's, he has been rusty, but he should be getting back into the fold. It could be a good option. I haven't seen much of Van, Van Biel now this year, but I know they probably like scored the weekend. And I say, you know, some of the lads you alluded to there, uh, Mickey Sweeney and Paddy O'Kane and boys that got there, very talented players. Um, so, you know, Joe Gray's in charge. Joe's a uh, good manager too. So, uh, another great player in his day as well. So, uh, hard for me to call because I haven't seen, to be honest, I haven't seen Van Biel, but. Uh, I sort of fancy Stilstown this year uh, to get to the final. And, you know, uh, I know that uh, Green Law and, and Castle Dawson's in the, in the other semi final. And I'm not sure what the latest uh, status quo with, with Enda Lynn is, but, um, you know, he's a, a big plus for them if he can line out in that match. And obviously, Niall Lohan's been in top form again this year. Which, so, if you have two lads to get there, a fit the line out for, for a side at intermediate level is going to give you a good start. But Castle Dawson, you know, could be hard to beat as well. But uh, I sort of expect now to see a Steel's Town Green off final and then to meet it this year. But we'll see, you know. It was a funny game. You can never predict it, as we all know. No, you can predict it, but you might not predict it right. So, you know, that's that's uh, the way I see it so far. But we'll see. We'll see. It'll be interesting. It's always good to get these games from all this time of year, you know. And uh, September's traditionally been uh, the time to get the, uh, to see all these championship matches. So that's still been the case. So, as I say, uh, with the COVID and the way things were happening in the year, we, we weren't sure what was going to happen. So uh, we're just delighted to be able to, to, to get to, to these matches, whether it's actually in the stadium itself or, or on the We Are There uh, platform. Hey, man, thanks very much for your time, uh, as always. Phenomenal. Cheers. Yeah, no problem at all. Bye-bye. Chat later. Bye-bye. Have a good communion there. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.